Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to this new speed build in The Sims 4 and happy new year because this is the first video of 2022 and I'm very happy to be sharing this one with you because it's very special, I think you know what we are doing today because yeah it's in the title and the thumbnail as well but yeah we are building number 12 Grimo Place and I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly because I really don't remember the like, how they pronounce it in English but yeah we pronounce it like this in Italian so I think it's it's kind of close to the real pronunciation yeah but let me know in any case um, yeah, so I was very much inspired by the reunion of the Harry Potter cast that that we saw on January 1st, so I don't know if you've seen it, but I have and it's it's been like a roller coaster of emotions. It was so great to see all the cast members all those amazing characters back together in the same room talking about behind the scenes and a lot of like personal stuff that was going on when they were filming um we probably knew a lot of the stuff from fun facts videos or articles or whatever uh because yeah throughout the years we managed to at least i managed to uh get to know every little fun fact of the actors, especially the most important ones. Um, but yeah, it was so nice to hear them, to listen to them talking about that time so personally, like in person and in, a, in such a personal way. And because I was very little when the first movies came out, like I was three years old, and I wasn't really into the, the saga until I was like 12. So it took me a little bit of time to get attached to the series and to, to get to know the series in general. So yeah, um, I wasn't there real time to feel the atmosphere. So it was very nice and it was so cozy. Like I had a very cozy feeling when watching the reunion. Yeah, because I remembered what it felt like reading the books, watching the movies for the first time and yeah, I was overall very happy and I hope that you will enjoy this video here because as you know, I like to recreate stuff in The Sims either from TV shows or from yeah movies or even real life maybe, I don't know, I've never done it but I think I would enjoy that as well so we are here in Windenburg trying to build a somewhat faithful version of uh, number 12 Grimmauld Place, which is the headquarters of the Order of the Phoenix. And so we we see this place in the fifth movie for the first time, and we read about it in the fifth book. I took a lot of inspiration both from like what we read in the books and what we see in the movies, but also from my own imagination, like I recreate this house the way that I imagined it when I read about it for the first time and also I would like to mention that it's not 100% how I would have built it but in The Sims we can only have four floors above the, gr the ground level so I needed just a fifth one but yeah, I couldn't build it, build it. So I had to do some adjustments and we'll, and we'll talk about them in a bit, I think. But anyway, I also looked up uh, on, on Pinterest for floor plans. Uh, if anyone had done a floor plan, like had designed, imagined a floor plan. And I found a couple of floor plans that I thought could work nicely. And yeah, I took inspiration from one of them in particular. So I will pop it on the screen right now and it wasn't the first time that I had seen that particular floor plan but but this time it was very useful because I actually used it to recreate uh, the house and of course it's kind of weird because you cannot do actual townhouses in The Sims because the lot has a limited amount of space so yeah but I fit four townhouses in total in the on the slot so i think it's like a decent recreation of of the buildings so yeah you will let me know in the comments if you 
agree with me. Um, so the floor plan took a really long time to, to figure out and I also changed my mind last minute because yesterday night, like last night, I was thinking about this build, build and I decided that I didn't like where I placed the staircase to the basement um, because you access it through the formal dining space that's on the uh, ground floor but I didn't like it because I remember from the books the day the kids um, so the the golden trio and Fred and George and Jeannie also um, used to have dinner downstairs in the basement and then when they um, went upstairs after eating they would like try to go as slow as possible to like hear eavesdrop what the members of the order were saying and the way that i built the um, the whole structure here wasn't ideal because to go from the basement to the up the upstairs you have to go through the dining room and so it wasn't too great for what i remembered it was told in the books so it's a very small detail i know but I wanted to, to change it. So basically the, ba the downstairs bathroom and the staircase switched position in the final version. I don't know um, how to say it. But yeah, so we have on the ground floor, we enter from yeah the front door. Wow, I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, we are entering from the front door and right when you enter the house on the left, there's a sort of reading room library because I had extra room and I didn't know what to put there so I put that room there and then there's the formal dining room at the at the back as I told you then on the first floor there's the living room and next to it there's uh, Ron and Harry's room that I wanted to put upstairs because I think it's actually not on the first floor but on the second floor next to um, Mrs. Black's uh, master bedroom so yeah but I couldn't do that and then upstairs on the second floor we have uh, Molly and Arthur's bedroom, Hermione and Jenny's bedroom and Fred and George's bedroom and then we have a very small bedroom for Lupin because I remember that he used to sleep there sometimes so he has his own bedroom and then on the upper level we have a uh, regulus black's room and sirius's room and yeah on every floor there's a bathroom so yeah you're all set um there's a functional kitchen in the basement i think the basement is pretty cozy but i also enjoyed decorating the living room with the cabinets and the the black's family tree I used um, like a tapestry from Vampires, which I thought was perfect because it came with a green tree, so it was perfect. Now you're seeing me slowly adding some basic decorations like curtains and like flooring, wallpaper, and those items that I wanted for sure to have in some rooms, like the yeah the family tree, and also like the beds that aren't the final beds just some placeholder ones just so that I could remember who I wanted to sleep where. I tried not to personalize the bedrooms too much because it wasn't they didn't personalize them in the in the books. They were just sleeping in them and they were very dusty and disgusting. So I just kept them that way and I added a lot of um, dirt tears in the wallpaper and on the floor and I also used the city living wallpaper in uh, the majority of the house so that it looked pretty disgusting and <laughs> pretty filthy so I was very happy about that and I and then I found uh, the wallpaper from cottage living and I placed it in the living room and I think it's perfect like it's the most perfect wallpaper that I could find because I don't know if it's similar in the movie maybe or it's similar to what I was imagining when I was reading the book because I just had some something clicking in my brain like yeah this is the perfect wallpaper and I was very happy about it the only room that has like some decent furniture is the formal dining space because I didn't know how to make a formal dining room look ugly and like um, like it's 
not taken care of so yeah it's pretty nice which wasn't the goal but yeah oh well um we are in the kitchen now that i think yeah it's my favorite uh room of the house you'll see that i will also include the little um like i don't know how to describe it the little nook where creatures sleeps and lives and this kitchen and the like whole basement is exactly how I imagined it when I was reading the books. I don't even know if it's similar to the movies, maybe I unconsciously picked something that's closer to the movies maybe, but this is exactly how I imagined it when I was reading and it gave me some sense of closure. Also like finally I could see what my mind um, projected when I was reading the book and I was really happy about it and yeah so this is uh, what my mind looks like, <laughs> what the Harry Potter world looks like in my mind, in my brain. So yeah you're welcome. I cluttered this kitchen like crazy, I, I placed down a lot of suspicious jars and a lot of stuff actually, a lot of knickknacks on the shelves. Also on the table I did something that's pretty clever, I took one of those uh, projects or I don't know, uh, blueprints from the Eco Lifestyle debug to act as the like maps of the Ministry of Magic that um, the adults were hiding from the kids in the book. They didn't want them to, to see what they were doing so they kind of rolled them all up when they entered the the kitchen, the, the basement. And now we are on to the living room, which is pretty dusty and disgusting. I think I did a decent job here. I cluttered it like crazy as well. Um, and I placed those cabinets there. I really enjoy the wallpaper. I think it's perfect. The curtains, I've never used those curtains in that watch, in that swatch, but I think here they belong, they just belong. So yeah, and also the piano and I place down stuff, like random stuff that doesn't even have any sense. I just place down item after item and I think it worked nicely. I also included a lot of radiators. I think that every single room has one uh, except for the bathrooms. But yeah, other than that, every single room has one or even two maybe. Um, and then in Ron and Harry's room, I added that painting. It's like um, a picture from Island Living and I covered it with the cool kitchen um, cutting board because I remember that they had this painting, this painting that just looked like a, a ugly brown background because it was a painting of Phineas Nigellus, I don't know how to pronounce it, black. So he had a place in Dumbledore's office and then he also had this painting here. So he used to travel back and forth and I left it empty, of course, because I didn't have a picture of Phineas to to put in, the play, in, in this house. Then I moved on to the next floor on which we have the Weasley parents' bedroom, the twins and the girls' bedrooms, also Lupin's bedroom, and I just kind of randomly decorated them because we never see them, neither in the books nor in the movies. So yeah, it took me basically 10 minutes, I think. I just placed down some personal effects, some decorations, some paintings, and all those fish that you see on the walls is supposed to be like the house elves chopped heads which is very brutal but yeah that's what happened then i decorated regulus's bedroom as if it was kind of a dumping spot um it's full of clutter and just stuff that's kind of left there and sirius's room is not exactly how you see it we don't see it in, in the fifth book but it's not like it could have been in the fifth book. It's more like how we found how we find it in the Deathly Hallows book. So it's all basically a mess because Snape went in there and 
mm, looked around and opened every single drawer and it's a mess. I wanted to stay true to what I remembered about the description in the books. So we know that the wallpaper, I think it was green, so Sirius wanted to cover it with a lot of red stuff. I don't know if it's like if it was Gryffindor posters or what, but I used those from Discover University that I think are for the um, football team, so it's kind of fitting. And also I placed down a poster of a girl that I think is singing in The Sims, but it was a reference to that, um, that Mago poster that he had in his bedroom, like it was a muggle poster of a woman on a motorcycle, if I recall correctly. Then to add some final touches, I decorated a bit of the outside, so I wanted the other townhouses to look as if someone actually lived there. And also I changed the gates and fences and I just added three mailboxes instead of four. One last touch were the numbers next to the doors which i thought was really nice and just the thing that was missing from the facade of the building and that's basically it so i'm gonna end this voiceover now i really hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please remember to leave a like a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will see you in the next video that's gonna be next week and yeah i hope you're having a great day and bye everybody